Well, so far this February has been hotter than usual and according to the Met Service tied the fourth hottest month. Ian Wallace finds out why and also that we had a six-month warning. Everyone is seeking the shade and drinking lots of water. This is the fourth hottest February tied with 1998 and 2012. Climate scientists term a hot day to be over 33.6 degrees Celsius and a warm night over 24.6 degrees Celsius. Now Trinidad and Tobago is more likely to be hotter than ever and stay hotter longer through March, warn forecasters. This pattern is linked to a very strong El Nino in the Pacific, pushing the Pacific winds further east and south into the Caribbean. This river of strong winds keeps the region sunnier and hotter, says seasonal forecaster Kenneth Kerr. One of the things about it is that at the upper levels, you would have a lot of subsiding or sinking air. And you have sinking, with sinking air, you have warming from above. And at the same time, we have warming from below from the sea surface. So the atmosphere has very little wiggle room to generate those clouds. In the real situation, in the best situation, you really want a cooler upper atmosphere so that when the warm thermals or warm air rises, it cools, condenses and forms clouds. But if you have a warmer atmosphere at the upper levels, there is no cooling to take place, so there's less clouds forming. And basically that is what is happening in the dry season now. Seasonal forecasters had warned of this extreme heat six months ago due to the latest tools in climate forecasting. Climate early warnings have been put out from the Meteorological Service since late 2015, warning of the hotter than normal and drier than normal conditions for 2016. These climate services are now extensive across Trinidad and Tobago and across many sectors. For CNews, I am Ian Wallace.